It is that time. Woo. It has been a long journey to get to this point and probably much longer for the two of you. So let's find out who the Grand Imaging Award winner is for 2024 and the winner of $10,000. Let's do it. So much fun. never entered the IPC yeah. and since they separated it, um, you know, made the MIR and the IPC, that image had already got me an Image Excellent Award in the MIR. So I decided to give a shot and send it to the IPC. It was the only image I sent in. And um, when they told me it, I got an email saying, congratulations, you made it to the round of 32. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And I would get more information later. Amazing. Not at first, because this was the second image. A few years earlier, I had tried a similar image. Um, but I shot the bus too wide, and I basically shot on the wrong style of bus. So I kept in my mind thinking how I should want it. So when we went back to this event, the right bus was there. Mm -hmm. It was in the right position. And the sun was in a good spot. And I had mom. We got on the bus. And I had her sit in a particular seat, and I just told her, look out the window, relax your face and look out the window. I tried about 10 to 12 shots of it, and then when I took it back home, dropped it in the light room, changed to black and white, and it was like, that's it. That photo was taken at, um, it was at a bus museum, I can't remember the actual name of it, but it's in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a old car and a bus museum, and this bus, was at their maintenance yard. They have a bunch of buses from around the country that they refurbished and put in the museum. So this one was waiting to be refurbished to get put in. I am a bus nut. I shoot <laughs> transit photography. Even here at Imaging, I'm, I was on the main street chasing the <laughs> Louisville, Louisville, Louisville buses. Thank you, I had to say it right. The Louisville buses. And um, I just, we grew up, we didn't have a car growing up. We always rode public transportation. Mm -hmm. So I had a love for city buses. The look on my mother's face was a bit of uncertainty. And I titled it The Destination Ahead because she doesn't know where she's going, but she knows she's going forward. And that's why I named it that. It took a while to name it because I went through several names, but after I, I made up that one, that one stuck, and I felt that was a strong name for it. Mm -hmm. This is my mother. Her name is Azzy Jones. It's an odd name. And Azzy, her middle name is Lee, which was a, a common name for Southerners during that period. Um, she was born in 1935, so she's 88 years old. Dedicated, hardworking, um, all, always, looked out for not only me, she was the oldest of four. She looked out for her younger brothers. And when I was born, you know, I was born to a single parent. And um, she did what she had to do to take care of me. She, she was a waitress at night at the former Fort Lee. And my grandmother was a maid during the day. And they taught me everything from right from wrong. We, poor, we grew up in a poor neighborhood in Petersburg, Virginia. So when I first moved to Washington, I didn't know buses had air conditioning because <laughs> ours didn't. <laughs> so it was a, it, it was a bit of a wake up call. Um, she moved to DC in 69 um, to start a new life for me. Um, I moved here in 73, moved to DC in 73. And so it had been hard, but we worked it out. We have okay, so received most of you know, the goals that we had. Mm -hmm. she, re she retired in 06, and eventually I'll retire sometime this year. <laughs> she had 34 years with the Gen General Services Administration. So far I have uh, 37 years with the Department of Veterans Affairs. So being a pro photographer is part-time. 
Uh, what I want to do in the future, I want to get into making larger prints and, um, you know, really expanding my craft. Winning the Gia is, is going to be a big help because it's, when I started, like I said, we didn't have much of anything. People helped me along the way. I am hoping that me winning this will inspire others to, if he can do it, I can do it. Or maybe I should take that risk and enter a picture. See what, and that's what I did. I was with camera clubs for most of my life. And I went to an imaging in 08, no, in 18, after I hadn't gone for 10 years. And I don't know, I just had the epiphany when I went to that one. And I came back, I said, this is what I have to do. And I started getting into print competitions. I'm a counselor for the District of Columbia. I got my certification in 22. And so, you know, in the short span of time, I've done a lot. I'm working on my master's now. Yeah. And um, I'm nine merits away, so I'm working on that. Mm, and I just- I'm proud of it. <laughs> and she's proud of it. And all I want to do and with her future, you know, she's older now. She's not in great health, you know, perfect health, but, you know, she can still get around to take care of her until I can't anymore. I'm her only child. There's no other family. It's just the two of us. So she's, my, she's as you can see, she rides almost everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. So I'm, my goal is to make her life as comfortable as possible for as long as I can.